What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope everybody's doing well. Good morning from Canada. Hope, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope everybody's doing well. Good morning from Canada. We're going to go over our friend Polygon. Uh, currently, we're sitting at 0.866. We're seeing a market cap of 7.47 billion. 24 hour volume 44444.77. Um, and uh, we're down 0.10 on the day. We're going to hop into the charts. Big shout out to Bybit, my favorite exchange for trading. $4,000 deposit blast off bonus for 13 more days. Uh, zero fees on all spot trading pairs until the end of December. You can sign up through the links in the comment. Let's hop into the chart. So we'll start with the bullish wave count which is now looking even a little bit more less likely to me now that Bitcoin is showing uh, stronger signs of continuing to the downside, even if we do see a bounce first. But the bullish wave count is that we've come down in a wave two pullback of the wave three here in green, where we've come up in a wave one. This is a wave two pullback, and now we're pushing up in a three. And within the wave three or five waves, so we've pushed up in a wave one. This is a wave two pullback. You'd have to be looking at some sort of ABC correction and then pushing up in a three. But as you can see, this is very impulsive and we can already see a five wave move. Um, so I don't think this wave count is likely, but if it does play out, I will give you a wave three target. I don't think it's likely to play out, but of course I always go over both scenarios and let you guys know which one I think is more probable. But you would target the 1.618, which is coming in at about $1.07 for a potential wave three. Now the wave count that I think is probable is that we are now coming down in a wave five. If I uh, pull this over a little bit, coming down in a wave five. So we've come down in a wave one and this is a wave two pullback and i can already count a five wave move so we've come down in a wave one this was a wave two pullback we had a wave three wave four we created a lower low into a five so if this plays out what we'd be looking for is a wave two pullback take your trend uh take your fib retracement from the top of wave two to the bottom or sorry guys from the top of wave one to the bottom and you're looking for a retracement in between the 0.5 and the 0.786 with a minimum target of the 0.382 so your ideal target for a wave two pullback is going to be here in between 92 and 88 cents with a minimum target of 0.872 about 87 cents which we've already hit here so potentially we could have already put in a wave two pullback either that or we continue down and uh, we're still seeing a wave five uh, let's kind of zoom in here and see what we can see so so as you can see right here here's a wave one wave two pullback there's your wave three wave four pullback potential wave five and this could be seen as a abc so we could have already created a wave uh two pullback meeting the minimum target and then see continuation to the downside but ideally you want to see a wave two pull back up in between the 0.5 and the 0.786 so if you do see a bounce uh let me quickly pop over my indicators so we have bullish divergences we created a lower low creating a higher low on the one hour rsi money's flowing back in um, so that does give opportunity for a bounce back to the upside let's just look for a potential rejection in between 0.88 and uh, 0.92 but we have already met the minimum target if we were to come up and break this high it would invalidate that wave count and that's when you can focus on the bullish wave count but i think it's a little bit less likely yesterday it was about 50 50 but now that bitcoin has put in uh five waves down um, I think it's more likely that even if we see a relief bounce that it's a correction and then we continue to come down for our friend Matic. As you can see here, we created a high and now we've created a lower high. So we'll see if we come down and create a lower low. All right, guys, uh, we are sitting on support here at 83 cents. If we zoom out to the daily time frame and we scroll back here, we do have some resistance at this level um, and we do have support here at this level. So that's currently where we are finding support. So it could give opportunity for a little bit of a bounce uh, for our friend Matic. But we have broken out of this large ascending channel with the technical target all the way down here at 32 cents. I do think that Matic will create a lower low, in my opinion. Been taking heat for that as well as taking heat for Ethereum. That's what the chart is telling me, that we're going to put in a lower low, put in a wave 5 to potentially, this is Bitcoin, wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys, to potentially bring you down here for Matic in between that 18 to about 28 cent price target. 
which is the level of support I'm looking at for a wave five. Let me show you guys on a chart that scrolls all the way back. So in between, let me drop in another price target. In between 18 to 25 is your next level of support if we come down and lose that low. And uh, I think it's a likely scenario. All right, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. If you want to chew me up in the comments, be my guest. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Now we're coming down in a five wave move to complete the wave five. This is a wave two pullback. And right now we're starting to come down in our wave three, uh, which has a target all the way down here at about 40 cents. Let me make sure that is correct very quickly here. Yeah, it is correct, around 42 cents. All right, guys, big shout out to the Discord. Over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto, locked in 85% gains on my Bitcoin short position. So if you want my exact entries, exits, and take profits, it's coming in at the $10 membership as well. There's over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, all types of goodies. You can sign up through the Patreon link. Make sure to check out Bybit, check out my full length tutorial. You can follow me on IG if you'd like to, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, much love. Take care.